If you are thinking about getting into real estate, if you are thinking about becoming a landlord, if you are thinking about buying a property in today's economy, watch this video. Do not skip this video. Watch it till the end. Hi family, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. If you're new here, my name is Mercy. I'm a registered nurse, RNBSN. And on this channel, I talk about nursing, a lifestyle, beauty, real estate, natural hair, home decor, clean with me. I do a little bit of everything. So if any of those sound good to you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the bell notification so you never miss another video. If you're trying to get into real estate, I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks and advice and I hope and pray that you please, please, please take it from me, okay? If I had a lot of this talk to me before I got into this, I would have saved so much money, so much time, and so much headache. I want to be completely transparent and completely honest with you guys and tell you guys what I have experienced in the last, really the last few months. So let's get right into it. The number one thing I want to tell you is if you want to get into real estate, real estate is lucrative. It is a great business and it's one of the, the best way to build generational wealth. You can buy a rundown property today, let's say in a decent neighborhood, put a little sweat equity into it, sell it back and make thousands and thousands of dollars. Or you can turn it into a rental property. With rental properties, I will say you don't get you don't get the money up front. The passive income that comes with rental properties is not much. If you're lucky, you're gonna get maybe two, $300 a month in passive income after all of your expenses. That's if you're lucky. Unless you have a really, really good property, like I said before, that you just got for really cheap and you didn't have to do much to it and you, you charged a lot for rent, maybe because of the location or maybe you're doing Airbnb and the Airbnb is you know lucrative in that location. But if it's like a long-term, rental and you're just like renting it to families or students or whoever the cash flow is not enough to write home about okay you have to have a few of them to be able to add them together to then be able to say okay i make a lot of money through my rental properties where your money is going to come from is holding that property building equity in it so that if you go to sell it or you can leverage it as um, a refinance, you can HELOC, all of these terms you can look up on, on um, YouTube here. There is a lot you can do, but as far as getting the month to month income from one property that's gonna pay off all your bills, no, that's not gonna happen. That's number one, that's something to keep in mind. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Do I still wanna keep doing this? Absolutely, I love it, I love what I do because again, I'm doing something for myself and my family that wasn't done for me when I was younger because of lack of a opportunity. So I feel like I have the opportunity to do that. I have the resources to do it. So I'm going to do it. The second thing I want to tell you guys is if you are getting into real estate, heavily, heavily, heavily screen your tenants. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's your great grandmother. I don't care if it's your best friend from work. I don't care if it's your 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 teacher from high school. I don't care who it is. Screen your tenants. This is going to save you a whole lot of time, a whole lot of headache, and it's going to save your relationships as well. Because a lot of times when people get into these business relationships with people, sometimes the intentions are good on both sides, right? The tenant's intentions might be good. They just need a place to stay and they plan on paying you and doing all of these things. And your intention might be good because you think you're helping someone, you're helping a friend or family or whatever, but it could go south very, very fast because of um, lack of resources. Maybe um, you rented a house that is worth $5,000 to a family member and you just wanna help them out and you're charging them, I don't know, the exact same $5,000 because you just you just want them to be able to pay their rent, right? And you don't wanna make anything off of it. It's gonna come a time where the rent is gonna be late or maybe they don't wanna pay because whatever reason, it's just not gonna work out. It's not gonna work out in your favor. Or maybe they don't qualify for that $5,000 house due to their income but you wanted to help them out. So you you lend, you uh, let them rent your $5,000 house and now they can't really pay for it on time or keep up with the payment because they don't qualify for that in the first place, right? There could be so many things that could go wrong 
And that is why screening your tenants is very, very important. And by screening, I mean background check, make sure their income is, um, I think it's supposed to be three times your, your rent. Um, make sure they have enough income. Make sure you screen everybody, background checks, um, uh, eviction, bankruptcy, like all of those things. Make sure you, you screen your tenants very, very well so you can know what you're getting into. I don't care who it is. I don't care who it is. I'm telling you, this is going to save you a lot of time and it's going to save you a lot of money. Another thing I want to tell you guys and this is related to real estate and it's also related to anything in life. Never, ever, ever do business with family. You are going to regret it. And again, this is for both sides. If you want to save your relationships, if you want to save your friendships, never, ever do business with family because it is going to come back and bite you in the you know what. It just has a way of doing it. You can help family. If you have money, you can help family. If you want to help them out, if they're down on their luck, you want to help them out, you want to be a blessing. You can do all of that with family, but never ever involve family in your business. It's not going to turn out right. Don't rent your property to your friends, your family, your cousin, your coworker. You want to work with complete strangers so that it's all business. You screen them like you're supposed to. You make sure that they're able to pay their mortgage, everything. They have insurance. They have everything that they need. Total strangers so that if you need to make a decision, you can make it without bias. And you can also make it without ruining that relationship that you have with said family member or friends. Family members and friends have a way of taking advantage of you if they feel like, okay, this is not a real landlord or this is not a real business person or this is not a stranger. So I can get away with certain things maybe i can tell them can i pay your rent in three months i don't have money right now they have a way of trying to get off uh or get over on you right and again sometimes this is not intentional but sometimes it is so to avoid all of that don't do business with family don't rent your property with family and just screen everybody the proper way the professional way if you ask me due to my experience I'd rather work with total strangers when it comes to business. Again, I'm not talking about helping people, helping your family, your friends, giving them money or doing this and that. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about business. If you're doing business, stay away from friends and family. They will be the one to ruin your business and ruin the relationship you do have with them. Even if the intention at the start was pure, all right? The last tip I want to say, never ever borrow money to family or friends. That goes without saying. Never ever borrow money to family or friends. If a family member or a friend comes to you and asks you for money, again, maybe they are down on their luck. Maybe they have something going on. Maybe they are just going through it. If they ask you for a certain amount of money, if you don't have that amount of money, but you still want to help, tell them, hey, this is what I can help with and I don't expect it back. But never, ever, ever loan anybody, especially your friends and family, money. That, again, you're going to regret. You are going to regret it because when it comes time to pay back, you're going to be embarrassed to ask for that money back. And then they're going to feel like you're harassing them. They're going to feel like you're greedy. They're going to feel like you're money hungry. They're going to feel entitled to that money you gave them. They're going to feel like... um. You have all this money, even though they don't know how you get your money. Even if they do, they don't care. You're working, they're working, but some way, somehow you're more successful than them. So they feel entitled to whatever that success is. And if you're not throwing money at them every single day, they will completely neglect the fact that you have your own family. You have your own bills. You have your own responsibilities. You have all of these things going on. They only care that you're not throwing money at them. If you want to buy your family a car, you want to give them thousands of dollars. You want to do this, that, use that as you wish but never ever borrow family money. I do respect, um, you know, my tenants. I do respect all of that, but I do also have a story to tell. And this is part of my experience. And I have made a lot of mistakes through these processes and I have the right to 
to not only tell my story but also to um to advise you guys because this is what my channel and my whole social media is about for my followers and supporters to learn through my experience i would be completely dishonest if i just acted like everything was fine and dandy because it's not am i winning at the end of the day i am because again if i choose to sell my house today i will make the money that i have I will make double, triple, quadruple the money that I have put into it throughout the years. But is it coming to me on a monthly basis? No, it's not. I'm basically just making ends meet, if that makes sense, with my property. And it would take me getting a tenant in here and having that tenant stay for at least a few years for me to really start seeing um, profit. And that would also mean that nothing big goes wrong, like the HVAC system or the heating and cooling system. I think that's the same thing. Or having to change the roof, having to you know, renovate a whole kitchen, bathroom, things like that. It would take not doing a major uh, maintenance thing for me to even see any of that monthly money that comes in okay so again if you're thinking about going into real estate it is such a great thing to do if you do it in the smart way if you learn if you surround yourself with people who are already doing it and are successful at it if you're watching videos like these to actually learn what to avoid you can actually be lucrative um doing this you can actually make a lot of money through real estate because you'll do it rinse and repeat rinse and repeat to the point where you'll be at a spot where now your rental properties are paying off all of your bills and you are building equity tons and tons of equity in those properties to where if you ever decide okay i want to sell this house the house will probably be paid off at that time and you'll get every single penny you know let's say the house is worth a hundred thousand dollars when you bought it 10 years later it's now worth three hundred thousand dollars but you have tenants in there who have been paying the mortgage down to the point where it's paid off this is just an example if you chose to sell that house you'll get the three hundred thousand dollars cash right and throughout the years you may have gotten like i said three four hundred dollars here and there um monthly towards you know paying your bills or paying one bill in your house all right family that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this car chat um i just wanted to update you all on the rental property how it's going i know a lot of you have been asking about it so that is it y'all thank you all again so so much for your love and support i love you all and i'll see you all in my next one bye